How can we, as representatives of all Minnesotans, deny these rights to a group of citizens whose relationships are as valid and worthy as mine is with my wife? These rights are more than speculative, and I'll provide a few examples. Minnesota Statute Section 246.70 says that the family members of a patient in a public facility have the right to be notified if the patient is moved or if the patient's care is changed. These facilities are not required, however, to notify the same-sex partners of patients. Section 62A.03 says that health or accident insurance policies may cover two people as long as the second person is a spouse or dependent. However, a same-sex partner does not have a statutory right to be included in a joint insurance policy. Section 273.111 says that a surviving spouse has a continued right to the agricultural property tax classification, but the same is not true for a domestic partner who has also farmed the property for years. Section 611A.01 says that if victims are killed during crimes, their families are entitled to restitution. Same-sex partners are not considered family under the law and therefore cannot receive restitution. Section 203B.02 says that someone who is married to a member of the military has the right to vote by absentee ballot. A same-sex partner of a member of the military does not. Section 149A.80 says that married people have the right to control the disposition of their spouse's remains. However, people who have made lifetime commitments to their partners have no similar right. And here, in the land of 10,000 lakes, section 97A.475 says that a combined fishing license exists for spouses. However, no joint license exists for unmarried but, but committed couples. These are just some examples of how same-sex partners in committed relationships are denied rights many of us take for granted. There are, in fact, over 500 examples of such laws on the books in Minnesota. Representative Freiberg did a good job of outlining some of those issues, the issues of the legal and economic protections that marriage provides. He did leave off one that I'd like to mention. Uh, my parents were both vets, and they're buried side by side out at Fort Snelling. There's a special section at Fort Snelling for people where both of the married couple were veterans. That wouldn't be possible if they weren't married, even if they were both vets.